Hey guys, it's Dane from DynastyBreaks.com. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I am doing a uh, SGC uh, grading reveal. Uh, these are some T206 cards I submitted to SGC. I have 42 cards total. And then a uh, order from Robert Edwards Auctions. I uh, won some T206 cards. I am trying to put together a set. And I thought, you know, I'm, instead of opening these... Uh, where no one can see them. Let's let's do a, let's do a reveal video. I've not looked at any of the cards yet. Uh, you guys have been asking us via email to do some content besides just uh, our breaks that we do four nights a week. So um, if you're into T206 cards or vintage baseball, uh, this will probably be a pretty interesting video. Uh, I am trying to put together the set of T206, which is very difficult. Uh, it takes a long time, but I have uh, I've started. Uh, I've got about 85 to 100 cards in somewhere in that neighborhood uh, before counting uh, a lot of these. Um, so I do want to go through some basics about T206 cards if you don't know, uh, just, the, just the basics of the set. So let me let me switch over here. And uh, so this is the T206, it's called the White Border Set. Uh, it was produced by the American Tobacco Company. Uh, they did this for three years. Uh, they inserted the cards into cigarette packs, uh, which obviously I guess parents would have to have to buy these and give give the cards to their kids. Uh, in most cases, uh, the, the cards would get destroyed, I'm sure. Um, it was also put into loose leaf tobacco, so you'll notice a lot of these cards uh, that are in in some of the some of the tobacco products that are loose uh, will have staining, uh, tobacco staining, things like that. Um, the T206 designation comes from Jefferson Burdick's American Card Catalog in the 30s. It's like the first attempt to catalog trading cards uh, in any way. There's a picture of it. V very cool. If you if you had a copy of that today or a, a graded copy, it'd be worth a lot of money, I'm sure. Um, there are 524 cards technically in the set of T206. Uh, not counting the backs, and we'll go into that. Um, you can actually, a set is considered 520 of the 520 cards um, because four of the cards are pretty much unattainable uh, for the average person. Uh, we'll go through those cards. Uh, these are called the big four. So these would be the players that, if you didn't have these in your set, still considered a, 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 to be a set. Um, so the first one is obviously... Uh, and probably the most famous baseball card in existence. And I, all these pictures are from PSACard.com. Uh, these cards are, as you can tell, in PSA slabs. Uh, Honus Wagner, this is the most famous sports card in the world. Uh, I think around 60 or so known to exist. Uh, Wagner was a Hall of Famer, uh, elected in 1936. These cards, uh, even a very low grade. Uh, it's gonna break break the million dollar mark. Um, just just almost an impossible card to find. Um, I know that I think the owner of the Arizona Diamondbacks has the highest graded copy, although that one's allegedly trimmed. I think uh, Wayne Gretzky owned it at one point, but uh, they're uh, just an impossible card to get. Uh, another Hall of Famer. This is Eddie Plank, Hall of Fame pitcher. Uh, he went in in uh, ten ten years later, nineteen forty six. Uh, there are a lot of a lot of reasons this card is rare. It's probably the second most sought after card. Um, there are about a hundred of these known to exist. There are rumors the printing plate broke uh, at the factory, and they just gave up on this card, so not that many got out of there. Uh, also, you know, like Wagner, a lot of people said that they didn't want the cards in tobacco products. They don't they don't agree with. You know, kids promoting tobacco. Also, uh, some people thought it was about the money. That they didn't get paid enough to use their likeness. So who knows? But uh, th those cards, very short printed, and they're Hall of Fame players, so the demand is just insane. Um, I'm sure Plank would sell uh, north of north of $100,000, even in a bad grade. Um, and then uh, you've got two error cards as part of the big four. Joe Doyle. And Joe Doyle stinks. Let's. I'm going to be honest with you. Joe Doyle, just a guy. Um, pretty bad statistics. His nickname was Slow uh, Joe Doyle. I guess he took forever on the mound. Drove people crazy. Uh, this card is rare 
because a, a very, very small amount of them got out with the New York National designation printed on there. He was actually on the uh, in an American League team. Uh, they quickly corrected this error. So most of the Doyle cards, I believe, will just say New York. Um, and th those are very inexpensive cards, just the regular Doyle, but very few of these exist. Uh, probably, I think a PSA 3, I show PSA's website, uh, valuing a PSA 3 at over $550,000. So uh, just just an impossible card to find. Uh, never come up for sale. And then another error, uh, actually a pretty good player, Sherry uh, Maggie. Uh, they misspelled his name. Uh, and he's, he's not a Hall of Famer, but I think he's in consideration in the last 20 years by the Veterans Committee. Got 2,100 hits or something like that, Sherry Maggie. Uh, they did make a corrected version of this card. It's actually, his name is actually spelled M-A-G-E-E. -E. So the, uh, the error was corrected at the factory, which always makes the, uh, the ones that got out misspelled more valuable. Uh, definitely a five-digit card. Um, so again, those four impossible. I'm not even thinking about those, as, as most people that are putting a set together aren't. Um, my set that I want to put together, here's my goals. Uh, try to set set your goals before you put together any set. Uh, I want to get the full 520 cards, uh, not not counting the big four. Uh, I want all my cards. Most of my cards I started out with were SGC graded, so I'm going to go that direction. Um, I want all my cards to be graded by SGC, and I want a two grade or higher. Um, I don't want any ones. I don't want any cards that have been trimmed and labeled authentic. Uh, that does make it a little more expensive. Uh, trying to get everything at a two or higher, so that that's those are kind of my um, just a personal preference that I don't want a lot of trim cards. I want I want them to have really good eye appeal, and I think a two you can accomplish that. Uh, I don't want any creased cards. You can get a crease card with a two grade, so I try to avoid those. Uh, I'd rather the damage if there's going to be any damage be on the rounded corners or on the back. Uh, I don't want any cards with a double name, which is basically off center show you one right here. You can actually see it's it's miscut. You can see the name portion from the card above this one. You, uh, I, I try to avoid those. I know there's some collectors that like those because they're rare, um, but I try to avoid the uh, creases or double names. Uh, and I want to get every advertising back. Every uh, loose leaf tobacco company, every cigarette company that participated in this, they were all part of the American Tobacco Corporation they advertise their products on the back of the card. So this can get really complicated. If you're trying to collect different backs, uh, this can just absolutely drive you crazy. I think there's over 5,000 different combinations. Um, I'll go into those. Um, here's the backs uh, from uh, Cardboard Connection. You can see here a screenshot. Uh, Piedmont and Sweet Caprol are the most common. Uh, and it gets more rare as you go down the list. The Ty Cobb back is uber rare, and it's only found on the uh, Ty Cobb portrait. Uh, only one card has that back, and it's uh, uh, rivaling the Wagner for value. It's a very, very expensive card, almost impossible. Uh, the Use It and Drum backs, you hardly ever see those. Uh, I would like to get one of each back besides the Ty Cobb, um, which that's going to be a challenge. Uh, here's my checklist from a couple weeks ago. I haven't updated it yet, but uh, the highlighted ones you can actually see are the ones ones that I have so far. And it's not as simple as Piedmont backs. You can see on just the Piedmont backs on the right, there are actually four different types of Piedmont. Sweet Capril, uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different uh, ones of those. Um, on the left, Broadleaf, there's two different uh, uh, ones of those. So there's even within each back, some of them are printed at different factories, which makes them more rare. Some of them are in different colors. You have a light green. You have an apple green on the sovereign back. So this gets really complicated. So again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to uh, just get one copy of each back on this list. And that's something I can hopefully do. So let me uh, come back over here. And uh, so let's reveal these. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you like, uh, if you want us to do more content like this, uh, let us know in the comment section. Um, give us some ideas. Uh, we're obviously on four nights a week breaking cards, but uh, I'd like to do some other stuff as well. All right, these are the ones I'm going to be disappointed in. Uh, 
when you submit something to SGC, I submitted some PSA cards. Uh, you have to put a minimum grade. So I said, I don't want anything. Don't, don't uh, crack the slab if it's less than a two. So these I am going to be putting in my cell pile. This is a uh, Fred Payne. Did not meet the uh, minimum grade, and I should not have submitted this one. This is a, a three miscut designation, which usually is going to drop it two grades. I should, probably shouldn't have submitted that. I, that was probably a mistake on my part. So that probably would have graded a one. Uh, the card is just miscut. And it also has a stamp on the back. So I'm going to be putting that <coughs> Excuse me, in my cell pile. <clears throat> All right, next up, another one didn't make the grade. This surprises me. This is a PSA graded this a 2.5. Um, SGC said they would not grade it a 2. So I actually can sell that. I would think that would go for a decent amount. A little bit of paper loss on the back. She got a price sticker on it. I must have bought that at a card show. <clears throat> be selling that one. Uh, this one, if I don't destroy these. This one disappointed me as well. This is uh, not a cheap card. This is what's called a uh, Southern League player, which uh, would have been the minor leagues back then. They called it the Southern Leagues for, for the most part. Um, I was probably going to end up, because uh, of my no crease rule, it has a little bit of a crease, but I picked this one up at a good good price. Pretty rare. This is an old mill back. Uh, PSA gave it a 2. I guess SGC did not agree with that. And uh, very cool. Texas, Southern Atlantic, Virginia, and all the uh, Southern League. So they, they did put uh, some minor league players, and some of them are uh, pretty tough to get on these Southern Leaguers. So that one's going up for sale. Probably can sign that one somewhere. May trade them in a Facebook trade group. And uh, Tom Downey batting. I think I have a double of this one. Uh, this was actually a 2.5. Kind of surprises me as well. Did not come back uh, SGC2. But again, I might have, because of my crease rule, I might have got rid of that anyway. So those go in the cell pile. I'm going to get rid of those. All right. Now my grading order. All right. Let's uh, start out. Here's a Hall of Famer. This is, uh, I guess this would be considered a rookie card. Zach Wheat. He is actually in the Hall of Fame. This is a PSA 3. Really good eye appeal. Happy with that. Zach Wheat. Getting a 3 on that one. It's probably a, probably a four or $500 card, I would guess. Zach Wheat. Set that up here. Now, one thing I will, uh, SGC got this order back to me in like two weeks, which I'm very happy with. I expected a month, so good job to them. One thing I don't like, the outer cards were wrapped in these uh, plastic bags. And I'm pretty pretty OCD about my slabs getting scratched up and scuffed. It's kind of like a work of art. I don't want the frame on the art to get beaten up. Um, there's no plastic protecting these, so if, it, if there's any movement or shaking during shipping, you might have some little micro scratches on these things. So not not a big fan of that. Wish they would have uh, bagged each card. Um, all right. Uh, Ambrose Pittman, probably be a common, 3.5. Sweet Capral back. That's a, if it's a 350, it's made in 1910. If it's a 150, it's made in 1909. So you can kind of tell what year they're made in. Uh, this is a Hall of Famer. So 80 Joss. I'm Addy, I guess. Addy Joss. Uh, he died, actually, during his playing days. Got sick uh, really young. And uh, actually, was the season was about to start and uh, passed away, uh, and I think, in 1911. So this is a, a polar bear. This one is from Loose Leaf Tobacco, so it's got some staining. Cards would actually, I think, just sit on the tobacco or sit really near it. Really love how these backs look. This is, again, probably... It's probably it's a 2.5, probably a $400 card. 500 maybe because the back's a little more rare. He died really young. All right, there's Sherry Maggie, uh, the one on the error card. We had his portrait that was spelled wrong. This is his other card. Some players have multiple cards in the set. Ty Cobb has four. Um, a lot of players have multiple. Uh, they'll have a portrait and they'll have an action shot, a lot of them, or, or maybe even two action shots. Uh, so this is a high grade. I would consider a four to be a high grade. Two, three, like a mid-grade. Uh, 
four is a high grade for me as far as my uh, set goals. So pretty happy with that. I bought a lot of these raw at a card show. Now I'm gonna keep this at a little bit of a crease here. It's a common Harry Lord 2.5. I'll probably keep that. I'll count that one. I won't send that back from a crease. All right, Dave Brain, pretty smart guy. Dave Brain. Uh, this is an old mill back, and it's a pretty high grade four. So uh, this would have some pretty good value. I'm gonna gonna hang on to this. That covers my old mill. I've got at least one of those. So like that. Got a uh, Rudy Ruby Holswit, a common. Getting a three on that one. Good stuff there. Uh, two, this is kind of my minimum grade. That's a good looking two. That is that the card is centered. I don't see any big spots or creases. Uh, this is Schaefer. He's with Washington. He's actually got a uh, on another team on his other card. So so the damage I don't mind as much. I'm hoping the damage is always on the back. You've got some staining. And when you see uh, 460 subjects. So you got 150 is 1909, 350 is 1910, 460 is 1911. So this would be a 1911 Piedmont. Moose Grimshaw, uh, that's a three grade. I love the portraits. These are little lithographs. Just These are really historical. I, that's why I like this set. Obviously the Wagner has made this set very popular with a lot of people. Driving prices up. Even commons are insane right now. Um, just love the look of this set. Uh, art from speaking of art, uh, three. This is probably the most common back. I think I have 27 of these. Uh, Piedmont 350, very common uh, back. All right, this is Joe Lake. Uh, he's got two different copies. One you can see his hand, one you can't. So that's why it says no ball in hand. I like to call this the Joe No Ball Joe Lake. Poor guy, no ball. Joe Lake, as opposed to Ball Joe Lake. All right, uh, Scott, Jim Scott. Uh, this one has some staining. I'm not a huge fan of that. Probably going to keep this one, though. I'm not going to get that picky yet. What, if I can get this set completed in, in a few years, um, then I'm gonna then the fun begins. Then, I, then I'm going to start going through and going, okay, what card do I want to upgrade? Okay, so I'm going to sell it. I'm going to buy a better one. Or do I want to get a different back? Once the set's complete, that's when you can really start having fun working on it. All right, love how this card looks. This one I'm probably going to replace. I do not like that crease. That is uh, one I'm probably going to sell and uh, replace. So I'm going to put this in my sell pile and uh, take that off my checklist probably. And that's unfortunate because I think this is one of the only... This is called a, a Sweet Capital 460 back with an overprint. They printed this uh, design and then they reprinted the factory underneath it. So that is one of the uh, variations of backs. I am probably... I'm gonna think about that. I'm gonna put that in a... I'm gonna think about it pile. Uh, keepers, sell piles over here. I'm gonna think about that one. Ooh, nice grade here. Chief Myers, this is Native American. Chief Myers, uh, four and a half grade. Love that. Four and a half. I think that's a generous grade, actually. Pretty much. That's off center. Got a little bit of fading, um, but I'm happy with it. I'm not going to argue with a four and a half on that. All right. And then they. They. I wish again. I wish they'd bag all the cards, but the the slabs look pretty good. So, uh, auto nab. I assume that's a four. Uh, looks like he's wearing lipstick. There you go. Uh, to three, uh, that is the uh, Piedmont 350 common back. Uh, let's get my second pile here. And then we've got some uh, auction items I won. they got some Hall of Famers in there. So if you're actually staying until the end, those will those will be neat. All right, this is the end of my grading order here. Let's uh, do this. Uh, George Bell in a two. I kind of like the look of that. May have a little bit of a crease on his arm, but I'm going to keep it. And got some staining, but that, that's a keeper for me. I'm going to keep it. Uh, this is the uh, alphabetically the last card in the set. Heine Zimmerman. Yes, people were named Heine. 
Uh, got a three. There you go, Cubs fans. All right, Larry Doyle. Not Joe Doyle, not the uh, just a guy. This is Larry Doyle, uh, New York Nationals. I think they probably mistook uh, Joe Doyle for Larry Doyle, and that's probably how the error came around. That's why they put New York National. They just thought it was Larry because Joe stinks. All right, uh, Gus Dorner, portrait. Love the look of this. Kansas City. Portraits are my favorite. Uh, that back is not my favorite. This may have been in some sort of an album. Some glue on there or something. All right, this one's going to the cell pile. It's actually the first one that didn't meet my grade. Uh, George Stovall. I think I may have bought this from a customer. Dynasty customer uh, was selling. Um, actually, I did. I bought this. Uh, it was in a modern tops T206. So in the modern tops, they will take the old tobacco cards and they'll frame them. I actually cut this one out of the frame to send it in because it looked pretty good. Um, that did not meet my uh, minimum grade, so I'll be selling that one. We'll sit that over here. All right, Gabby Street. Uh, I, Gabby Street's got a cool story. He was kind of a uh, mentor or um, I guess you'd say to Harry Carey, the announcer. So he played and then he was uh, involved in, uh, I guess, calling games, you would say, Gabby Street. I'd have to read again on that. It's been a while, but if you like uh, Harry Carey, he's pretty uh, pretty neat. Gabby Street's got a connection there. Oh, this is disappointing. Tommy Leach portrait, 1.5. So my uh, it's my second one that didn't make it out of uh, 42. 1.5 on the portrait, so I'll be moving that one. Trying to replace it. All right, and we've got a uh, Terry Turner. It's the worst grade we've got. It's a one. At least they didn't give it an authentic. Yeah, the back got me. So sorry, Terry. You're out. Uh, Mike Donlin. I actually have another one of these. I have a uh, higher grade Mike Donlin. Uh, again, I sent this in. Probably shouldn't have with the crease. Probably should have sold it raw, but I think, uh, I think I'll be okay and make up. Make up the $30 grading cost on it. This is Hooks Wiltsy, I think. Yeah, Hooks Wiltsy portrait. Uh, this one's been trimmed, probably. Kind of, kind of feared that some of them may have been. Uh, bought it at a card show. Didn't, didn't pay a whole lot for it. So that one's authentic. So no grade. Card's probably been altered in some way. That one's getting sold. All right, Jesse Tannehill, 2.5. Finally, another keeper. Jesse Tannehill. Uh, one on Mike Donlin. So, good example here. Uh, Mike Donlin seated and Mike Donlin batting. So, same player. Darn you, Mike Donlin. Neither one of them made it. Got some writing on this one, uh... Yeah, that one's in pretty rough shape, but maybe I shouldn't have sent that one in. All right, 1.5 on this one. This is Bill Hallman. Love the portrait. It was unsure. It had some paper loss, a little bit of a crease on it, but it was centering's pretty good. I thought that might actually get a two. Pretty close. Got to sell it. Ooh, 3.5 uh, Bobby Byron. Hope I'm saying that right. 3.5 like that. St. Louis. Love the color on the back. That is beautiful. All right, this is uh, Billy Pertell. Do tell about Billy Pertell. Probably a common, I would guess. I may be wrong on that. Uh, Wilbur Good. I think... I uh, can't remember if this is the one they spelled his name wrong, perhaps. Can't remember. Uh, there is one that they spelled his name wrong. They, uh, there was no E. Uh, Wilbur Good. Looks good to me, 2.5, so oh, that's actually a good plus. So it's a good, and it's a good plus. That's good. All right, Cecil Ferguson, uh, got a two grade. I'm going to hang on to this one. Boston fans. I like the color on that. This is Fred Beck. I may have two of these. I think I have one graded higher than this, so this may end up getting sold, but... Uh, for now, just in case I'm wrong. 
I'm going to keep that one. All right, Bill Graham. I feel like his nickname is Peaches. I'm not kidding. I feel like this is Peaches Graham. Uh, 2.5. You learn a lot when you're trying to collect this set, which is which is what's fun about it. There may be another Graham. Maybe it's somebody else. All right, George Hunter got a 2.5. That's a keeper. Uh, Fielder Jones, love this portrait, although it's got a crease. Not a big fan of the crease going across the middle. That one I am probably going to sell. That one I'm probably going to sell, and I will try to buy one. Oh, I, I am probably going to keep it. I'm just kidding. It has a different back. I think this is on the border for me. It's got a rare back, Sovereign. I'm going to let that one sneak by. That one's going by. I'm pulling the goalie on that one. All right, and we've got a Jack White high grade here, four. Very good grade. Plays for Buffalo. And then uh, we got a two. We're going to end out with a two. Uh, this one does not look good for a two. So, again, this is one. This is one I think I am going to uh, replace. I actually got two creases. Kind of thought going in I'm going to replace that no matter what it comes out at. Um, Jap Barbo is his name, unique name. So that that one I'm going to sell. I'm going to get rid of that. All right, now my Robert Edward auctions order. Um, let's see, let's take a look at these for the first time. Now, good job, Robert Edwards, uh, bagging all of them. So pretty excited about this. I won this auction a while back, and just now getting the cards in. All right, uh, Fred Abbott. So all these, these I did not get great. I already knew the grade uh, going in. Fred Abbott, love that portrait. That's a three. Again, I'll put my... Auction pile here. Should have some Hall of Famers in here. All right, this one has some uh, dirt falling out of it. Maybe part of the field. Uh, lowest grade one I bought, I think. Got a little bit of a stain up top. Leia Blackburn. I thought that one looked... That was a bargain. That was a really good price, so I bought that. All right, uh, here's a Hall of Famer. This is, a, this is a pretty big card. I was pretty happy getting a two on this one. Uh, this gets really expensive. This is a three-finger Mordecai Brown. He actually had a, a farming accident... Uh, I think his pinky finger got chopped off and over half of his index finger, and it really made it where he could throw uh, really well, throw some crazy pitches back in the day. So one of the greatest pitchers uh, of all time, Mordecai Brown. So uh, look at his stats, just crazy stats. Now this is the uh, Chicago on shirt. So that's probably a four. That's probably a $500 card, $400, something like that. And uh, so is this one. This is the other variation. Um, it's plastic in here. I don't know what that is. All right, this is the other Mordecai Brown uh, Cubs on shirt. So it's uh, kind of zoomed out a little bit. Uh, but again, Hall of Famer, probably in the four to $500 range. Picked up both of those. Actually, I sold a uh, trimmed Christy Mathewson and basically turned it into those two. I had a trimmed Christy Mathewson that was authentic. And uh, sold that for right around $1,000 and, and turned it into those two. All right, another Hall of Famer, Frank Chance. Love this one. Uh, I think the uh, staining got it here, which I'm okay with that. A little bit of a stain. Uh, that is his yellow portrait. He also has a red portrait. Uh, he was a manager for a long time. And you know the rhyme, Tinker to Evers to Chance, famous Cubs infield. Uh, Frank Chance. So that's a nice one. Three Hall of Famers in a row there. All right. This is uh, Harry Davis. Uh, this is the variation H. Davis on front. I think there's one that just says Davis. And so there's there's some different variations when you're collecting this. He's he'd be more of a common, I think, and uh, probably a tobacco stain. And let you know, unless the grader was eating peanut M and M's or something. That could be that. Um, you got to give him one of those. 
All right, this is uh, Jerry Freeman. Uh, this is one of my least favorite pictures in the T206 set. He looks like he's going to attack me. And I feel like he kind of looks like the lion from The Wizard of Oz. Kind of has a mouth thing going on. I don't feel like he's an animal. All right. Uh, that is a polar bear. Love the centering. No staining to speak of. Just a little bit, maybe. And again, that's a loose leaf tobacco product, so I like that. Love the look of it. All right. Next up, uh, J.F. Kierman, uh, Columbia. This, I can't remember if Columbia would be a Southern Leaguer slash Minor League player. I don't know. If it was, I probably paid up for this a little more. Minor league players, uh, Southern league players cost a little bit more. Or a lot more. All right, this card's beautiful. Work of art, man. And look at the grade. Four. SGC four. It's got the old label, uh, which I'm okay with. Al Mattern from Boston. That's beautiful. That card has not been in the light over the uh, past 110 years. It has uh, got some beautiful color. Nice. All right, this is a Hall of Famer. This guy was gritty. Uh, Hall of Fame manager, uh, was a player as well, John McGraw. Um, read about John McGraw. This guy was tough. Had a pretty rough upbringing and uh, was not scared of anybody. That is his portrait with Cap. He also has one without 2.5. I was happy with that grade. His cards get expensive. I'll take the lower grade to save some money. All right. Uh, this one has some discoloring. Kind of weird. He looks like Two-Face a little bit. Uh, Charlie O'Leary portrait. It got a four. Uh, definitely some fading, but the centering's good. The corners are actually pretty, pretty good as well. And the back is immaculate. So, yeah, I'll take the fading. I'm fine with that. Four grades are above my uh, pay scale. All right, this is uh, Newt Randall. So Newt was a popular name back in the day. And look at the centering on that. It only got a three. Played for Milwaukee. So, yes, they had teams in Milwaukee. Do they have one now? I don't think they do now. At least not a very good one. All right. Um, sorry, Brewers fans. All right, love this one. This is Nap Rucker. This is a high grade. Uh, portrait Nap Rucker. He was a pretty good player. I read about him. And that is uh, 1909 being the 150 subjects. They only had less players in the set. Obviously, the first year they printed it. All right, and this is uh, George Stovall portrait. I'm glad this got a three. I feel like I, uh, did I have another portrait that didn't quite make it? Yeah, that was not Stovall. That one looked similar earlier. George Stovall batting didn't make it. It got a 1.5, but the portrait got a three. Love that. Or actually, I, I knew that one had a three when I bought it. But. So got one Stovall to still get, unfortunately. Uh, Doc White pitching. Doc White. Four gray. Got a good deal on that. Feel like I did. All right, and uh, my last card. Last card. This is a Hall of Famer and... I'm guessing I got this man. I got this for under under two hundred dollars. Vic Willis, um, very good player, Hall of Famer. The centering stinks. I I think that turned people away from it. But this is a three grade portrait of a Hall of Fame player. Um, again, I thought this was this was a three hundred dollar card plus. Got it for got it for about one fifty. I think um, can't beat that. So Vic Willis, another Hall of Famer to check off my list. Unfortunately, I've got several more to do. I think there's 78 players, 78 different cards that are Hall of Famers. Some of them very expensive. Walter Johnson, Ty Cobb, Christy Matthewson, all of them. Still working on those. Thanks for watching. Uh, please leave in the comment section if you want to see more videos like this. Maybe when we get grading orders in, uh, if you guys want us to do videos, or if you want us to talk about certain cards, we might might do some videos about that. Uh, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and check out our breaks, dynastybreaks.com. Uh, show you the uh, backdrop here. You can email us any comments you have. Uh, we're going to be back Monday night 
Monday and Wednesday breaks are listed. Can't wait for Wednesday. It's going to be Topps Chrome uh, Platinum Anniversary Edition. That is finally coming out. It's a 700 card set. Uh, Topps Chrome design. 1952 Topps design on that. So that's going to be fun. Uh, we'll see you later. God bless. Thanks for watching.